Shock were you that Roy called a timeout two minutes and nine seconds into the game? Since he doesn't really call him much anyway. I mean, we were playing bad, so they didn't shot me too much, but it'd be the last time to do that. What was the conversation at halftime? We're not playing good enough. We need to play better and just do what we want them to do, do what we're talking to do every day. Is there any indication? I mean, sometimes, yeah, it's not going to be your night and maybe guys are just dragging. Was there any indication that it was going to kind of, you guys want to get off to that kind of a start? Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that kind of a I mean, we struggle sometimes at home. And you might have to have a little, I don't know. But we're gonna, you're going to always have like a like stretch where you struggle a little bit, but you got kind of just got to go over it. To have Armando's night that he did as a freshman, can you speak to that a little bit and just how hard he works? Nah, I, I can't speak to that because I was never that good as a freshman. But, but nah, I mean, he works really hard. He's he's taking care of himself this week. He's made like a conscious effort to, to really work hard to get the ball and score the ball. How much is where you guys are right now a matter of guys finding their own individual comfort with what you're doing, which would then make it easier for you guys to find comfort as a group of five on the floor? Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a little tough sometimes, but we get, we're getting it done. But I think it takes time, it takes a couple of games, and it takes just playing together. What have you, aside from Armando, what have you seen from some of the other guys, and Cole, what have you seen from some of the other guys that maybe they're starting to get it a little bit? We're starting to get it, starting to make the right play, seeing each other where we want the ball and where we can really be effective score. So I think that's the biggest thing, that's the most effective thing to really plan to get all the time. What finally did make you guys up? Coach Williams. I mean, that's that's answer every time. Coach Williams always like he sees us playing bad, like call the timeout. I mean, it's, it was a bad. It was like we were just playing bad, weren't playing well together, and it always takes him to just really get us going, and get back together. You know, you know how Roy usually is. It's never that. It's never that. It's never any like secret formula. It's just play better. You know how Roy usually is with his timeout. So when he calls one two minutes in, what are you thinking? I'm messing up, man. I'm really messing up right now. Got a bunch of Power Five teams down in the Bahamas okay. next week. Got a week to regroup. And how are you going to prepare for that? I'll just prepare how we normally prepare. Give a look. Give a lot more effort to our preparation and beginning of the game. I think we have to play better at the beginning of the game because I mean we want to dig ourselves holes against good teams because good teams keep people down. To get a tournament like that early in the season, how exciting is it to kind of see where you weigh against all these big teams? You know, I'm excited to go to the Bahamas. You know, I think that's, a, that's the biggest thing. God is cold, but I think that would be a good thing to see us go against a, some good teams and we see how we measure up against them. Garrison, do you think that's kind of what you guys need to go there? I know you guys are going Sunday and you get a little time to yourselves for a while. Yeah, yeah, I think I, maybe you guys need that just a little bit of connect, yeah, disconnect man, for a bit. You know, I think we need to go there, man, get a, a little bit of vitamin D. I think that's just from the sun, so that'd be good for me, man. Get tanned a little bit before I come back and be cold, but I'm really excited to go. I think, I think it'd be good. Are you a DJ?